throw three darts at the map. Toss in three wildly distinctive personalities. I'm just gonna kinda go with it. Plus three great artsy craft projects, and you've got a craft show you just can't miss. Done. We're hitting the road to check out crafters coast to coast. Welcome back to Crafters Coast to Coast. I'm Angela Martinez. Now you're going to get an earful when this Florida jewelry maker shares the mysteries of her universe. Hi, I'm Sharon Scalise, and I live in Indian Rocks Beach, Florida. I love living here. It gives me great inspiration. Today, I'm going to make these earrings. I take my inspiration from the sea, the sky, and the universe to come with me to my own little corner of the universe. This is my studio. This is where I do my metal smithing. What I'm going to do is make the beads here, and I'm going to make them out of fine silver. I cut out all these sort of organic shapes, and then I'll scribe it onto the silver, and I'll saw it out, and it'll turn into a really uh, abstract-looking bead. I tend to have to put my hair up and down a lot. I get it out of the way, and then later, I let it fall down again. I can hang from the ceiling. So next, I'm going to saw this shape out of the fine silver with my jeweler saw. But first, I need to put on my magnifying eyewear. It helps me to see through metal. <laughs> not really. I'm not making this very accurate because this is a very organic shape. And now I'm going to put them in this raisin block and I'm going to turn them into bean pod shapes and curl them up on each other. For that, I'm going to need my cross pin hammers. Little one, big one, little one, big one. Let's go for it. See how it's curling up? So here they are, ready to fuse. <laughs> this is my Miss Jones look. These are very mild magnifying glasses, but they also protect me from any flashback from the uh, flame. So now I'm gonna take this torch, which is an acetylene torch. I love this part. <laughs> Isn't it great? Fire. I'm gonna put the beads here. I love the sound of the torch. That's it, it's fused. And now that it's cool, I want to take it and texture it. <laughs> that happens sometimes. Look at all that texture. It's very sparkly. Very sparkly. I'm using the hammer to texture it by hitting lightly at the edge with this cross pin so that it just kind of digs in slightly and I'm going back and forth in different directions to have little cross pin lines all over it. So I've hammered them, I've fused them, and I've textured them, and now I'm gonna enamel them. I do that in another room. Let's go. I love this room. I love the light, I love the view, I love the water. It makes me want to enamel. I think I'll enamel these beads blue and green, like the water in the sky. I'm gonna put these beads on this rack so that I can dust the enamel on them. Next, I'm gonna get an organic gum binder which will burn off clean when I fire at the beads in the kiln, but will help to uh, keep the enamel in place before the firing. Now I'm going to take these enamels, which I've already washed and dried, and put them in those screens. So that looks like it's covering pretty well. Now my beads are ready to enamel. I have them over here by my kiln. And I'm going to place the firing rack with the beads inside the kiln, wait about a minute, and then they'll be fired. And now my enamel beads are finished. They're out of the kiln, they're cool, and so I'm going to make the bottom part now, the glass dangle earrings, out of this glass because I think it will match that glass when it's fired. So I turn this over and I've made some little marks and I'm going to score this. Snap them. And I've got my two glass pieces, and I'm going to go and grind these so that I take off the sharp edges and make them match. I'm going to take them over to my glass kiln now, 
It's a little kiln, and I call that kiln the brain. You can see why I call it the brain. I'm going to put these pieces in there. I'm going to fire the kiln up, and they'll be ready in just a little while. So now I'm going to wrap this dichroic glass piece to the 20 gauge gold filled wire. And there's my bead now all wired up and it's ready to hook to the bottom part of the earring which is a dichroic glass. I'm gonna add earring wires and maybe a few more beads. And I'm gonna hook all these together and then I'm gonna have beautiful earrings. What do you think? I think they'd look better with my hair down.